sometimes we make awful mistakes that can see us out the door before our first paycheck even arrives. Some people make worse mistakes than others, though. From loader accidents to warehouse worker failures, here are 15 people who had one job and failed miserably. Number 15. My Last Day at Home Depot Remember those puzzles you were encouraged to play with as a kid? Yeah, those basic ones where you try and fit the shapes into the shape outline. Well, today, folks, we learn just how important those are. If something looks too big to fit into a gap, it probably is. This poor chap was operating a forklift in a Home Depot warehouse with quite a wide load. It really didn't look like it was going to fit through the gap, but we gave it a good go. And this is where it starts going pear-shaped. The corner of his load hit part of the shelving and the whole thing just fell down like dominoes. Fortunately, the forklift operator manages to eject himself at lightning speed and make it out of harm's way. But can you imagine how much fun he's gonna have telling his superiors? That'll probably be the easiest part though because one of two things will happen. He'll either get fired or he'll be put on cleanup duty. Given the mix of different materials we see in the security footage, he'll be doing that till he retires. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. When you're operating heavy machinery, you've really got to be on the ball, and this guy obviously wasn't. This truck driver clearly wanted to skip the traffic or find a new place to park up, but missed the signs about it being fresh concrete and drove right through. He caused thousands of dollars of damage and even got his truck stuck, as you can see his footprints leading away from the scene. Why do you think he parked there, and how do you think he managed to miss the wet concrete sign? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. First day on the job and maybe the last. Some workplaces have this super fun feature where they make their employees move around on roller skates. Even though it can be a fast way to serve customers, it's a recipe for disaster if you're not used to using them or come across some obstacles. Going by this short clip, it's clear to see this newbie will be out the door without pay on his first day. He appears to be delivering food to a waiting vehicle and doesn't seem all that steady on his feet. Probably doesn't help that his pants appear to be halfway down his bottom. That surely won't assist his balance. As he makes his way to the waiting customers, he trips, drops the drinks he was holding, then pretty much face plants the late model BMW in front of him. They end up with food all over their bonnet, and he's probably facing some quite painful injuries. If it turns out that he's damaged the vehicle, it might be his first and last day on the job, and he'll never want to see a pair of roller skates again. Number 13. How not to unload a truck Most trucks used for deliveries have a long loading deck at the rear. These are remote controlled and can be moved up and down. They are there for a reason. You can move your packages onto the deck and move it down to the ground. I cannot express this point enough. You can move it down to the ground. But clearly, this guy had other ideas. He was unloading a case of vodka when the wheels of his load tipped over the edge of the loading deck, which was still at the height of the truck. Given the weight imbalance, he was promptly thrown over the top of it since he was still holding on to his load. As you can probably imagine, the vodka would have been a complete write-off. The man gets up, puts his hands in his pockets, and walks away. He's probably doing one of two things, getting the heck out of Dodge or going to tell someone about what he's done. If it were me, I'd be getting out of there, fast. The last thing you'd want is for that wastage to come out of your paycheck. Number 12. Forklift Trouble at Lowe's 
When you've got massive department stores and building supply stores, you can't fit everything in one layer, otherwise you'd only be able to stack a few different items. So it makes complete sense for them to stack products up high in multi-level shelving units. That works well for customers, and management is pleased about being able to carry more ranges for customers. But for those in charge of stocking those high shelves, it can be a bit of a pain, and can also cause a lot of pain if you get it wrong as well. One forklift operator doing all the right things by putting up barriers to stop people from getting near his forklift, including Lowe's store employees. But he has himself in a bit of a pickle. He has a pallet loaded precariously onto his forklift, and it's not sitting quite right for storage onto the shelf. The only way to solve the problem is by moving it back out to start again. The issue here is that if he moves it out, the forks will lose contact with the underside of the pallet. And that's exactly what happened. The pallet came crashing to the ground with all of its contents. And some of the contents of the other shelves as well. Number 11. Major Forklift Failure If the operator of this forklift doesn't get fired, I'll eat my hat. And if he doesn't, he'll be on cleanup duty for the rest of his life if they ever find the guy at least. What appears to happen in this security footage is the forklift operator used the accelerator instead of the brake. He promptly rammed into some stock positioned under a shelf, which caused that shelf to fall down. But it wasn't just that shelf that collapsed from the impact. As all the heavy boxes fell off that shelf and the shelf went down with it, it then hit the opposite shelf and caused it to fall down as well. Within literal seconds, the entire stock room is one big mountain of boxes. I imagine they'll eventually pull them out in 2030. I think the worst part about this is that the shelves just keep collapsing and collapsing. While you're busy focusing on the foreground of the video footage, you may notice movement in the background. The mountain in the front is just the beginning of the problem, and it all started with one slip of the controls. Doesn't get much worse than that. Number 10. Coke Delivery Goes Wrong Delivering packages to businesses typically goes off without a hitch. You load up your cases in your hand truck, push it into the business, load up your hand truck, and head off to the next job. Easy peasy. But clearly, this Coke delivery didn't exactly go right. The video uploaded to YouTube said in the description that a security company caught the footage on the security monitoring system and showed a security officer trying to help the Coke delivery man. The delivery man wheels in the hand truck, turns it, and all the racks start to go topsy-turvy. With them both trying to stop the carnage from unfolding, it ends up worsening the situation, and all the bottles go everywhere. Fortunately, they were plastic, not glass. Look, we're not experts, but we can see many failings in this situation. The hand truck was clearly overloaded, so your control over it was minimal. He probably should have made two trips. Also, using racks instead of wrapped cartons is not the best idea. If they were wrapped, the cartons would have fallen off, but all of the bottles would have remained together. Number 9. Epic Fail in a Warehouse it is not against the law to have a bit of fun with your co-workers when you're at work. And by fun, we mean a bit of banter and laughter. It's probably not the wisest idea to get up to mischief when you're a warehouse worker in charge of stock. If you disagree, then maybe you need to watch this footage. With clearly nothing else better to do, these warehouse workers set up a big commercial fan and sit on product moving dollies with handmade sails to make a move a bit faster. They're having a race to see who can reach the end first. But what they perhaps didn't factor in was how they would stop once they got to the end. As it turns out, they didn't have a plan. When the first guy reached the end and celebrated his win, he ended up hitting the shelving holding stock behind him. It didn't seem that bad initially because only the shelf he hit fell down. But as you so often see, it created a domino effect. Within seconds, all of the shelving units had fallen down, and the warehouse workers were running for their lives. We would love to know if any of these chaps managed to keep their jobs. Number 8. Tragic Unloading Failure most of us know that the best trucks for delivering goods are those that have remote-controlled floors that you can lower down. That way, you can move the goods onto that tail with ease, wait to be lowered to the ground, then gently move them off. 
But not every truck has this feature, and after seeing this video, you'll believe the people in it will wish that theirs did. Three men are carefully trying to maneuver what looks like a giant concrete drain pipe from the back of their truck. But because it doesn't have a drop-down tail section, they have positioned car tires to give it a soft landing. But those tires may as well have been made of daggers because they did nothing to stop what happened next. As it gently dropped onto the tires, it broke into three or four pieces. All they could do is watch. But how frustrated would you be? After buying such a large, heavy item, then arranging it to get delivered or pick it up, you then spend five seconds with it before it breaks. They'll definitely be investing in a better transport system after that. Number 7. Warehouse Fail Accidents happen, but when you work in a warehouse, those accidents can cost money. It's not the same as if you accidentally spilled your coffee on the carpet in your office. This guy looks quite competent loading a pallet and maneuvering it into a warehouse. He's doing a pretty good job, even right until he parks it and attempts to remove the pallet. It's not until the last minute that all hell breaks loose. The pallet tips over and the contents spill out all over the ground. We're not sure what's in it, but it might be expensive. A guy walks into the frame who might be the loader's boss. As he leaves the frame, he puts his hands in the air. So clearly, he's not all that happy about having to order more of whatever this guy has managed to break. It's probably not a sackable offense, but we have to wonder why this footage ended up on the internet. They clearly launched into an investigation to find out what happened so they could either hold the guy to account or just get a clear picture of the facts. Number 6. Tire Worker Fail Stacking tires might not seem like the most dangerous job in the world, and it's not. You also don't have to worry about breaking them because if a pile of tires falls down, you've just got to load them back up again. There's no real damage. But there's always a risk of damaging yourself, and one man learned that the hard way. He attempted to lift what looked like quite a heavy or dense tire so that he could load it onto a pile taller than him. As he bends himself backwards to give himself momentum to place the tire on the pile, he ends up flipping the tire so that the hole goes around his neck and pushes him to the ground. When he gets back up, he's holding his back. There's no denying that fall must have hurt. But he gets up, picks the tire back up, struggles with it a little bit, and manages to place it on the pile. Meanwhile, the worker he was working with is none the wiser since he's sheltered from view. That undoubtedly helped his ego a little bit. Well, until they looked at the footage, that is. Number 5. Funniest Supermarket Fail If this girl doesn't get fired, then at a minimum, she's gonna see her paycheck docked for the rest of her working life. This was a fail to trump all fails. This store worker's trying to reach a drink on the top shelf, but she's too short to manage. But instead of asking for help or getting a stepping stool, she steps on the bottom shelf and uses the top shelf to pull herself up a little bit. With only a tiny amount of pressure, the entire shelf falls down. Guess what was on it? All sorts of breakable bottles of beverages that send a torrent of fluid throughout the store. Many of the bottles you can see in the background are red wine, so all you see is a big red wave. The worker ends up covered in juices and wines while a chef comes out from the back of the shop to see what's going on. All she can do is stand there and fix her hair into a bun. Where would you even start to clean this mess up? I don't envy her. Number 4. A bad day at work. Sometimes your bad day isn't caused by your stupidity or failure. It might instead be caused by a cheeky workmate or a workmate who's so frustrating and annoying that they make it their mission to ruin your day. We're not sure which category these two men fall into, but you can see he's not happy about it when he realizes what's going on. He's taking bricks from a colleague and putting them in place on mortar to make a wall, fence, or a house. As he's placing the bricks into place between two lines to make sure they're straight, the worker behind him is taking them off and handing them back to him. So for all the progress he makes, someone's undoing it. That would make for a long working day. Fortunately, it doesn't take him long to realize what's going on, and he pretends to throw a brick at the guy. I don't know about you, but if I had to work with someone like that, I'd be looking for another job. Or at least another right-hand man. Number 3. Wine Stocking Fail 
In this guy's defense, he actually didn't do anything to cause the massive mess that happened on his watch. He had been loading up a shelf full of wine when the shelf suddenly started falling over. He tried in vain to stop it, but it ended up crashing down and almost crushed him underneath. He was able to run away to safety, but just has to watch as all his hard work was undone and a whole new chore was added to his list of things to do for the day. I suppose we take it a bit for granted that the shelves we use to store our products are strong enough to handle their weight, but when you got dozens of bottles of wine sitting on a shelf, there could be just one that causes it to collapse under the weight. Maybe it was a good thing that it happened to him and not a customer. They clearly need to invest in some more robust shelves. All I can think about is how hard the mess would have been to clean up, and he would surely have been blamed for it up until they reviewed the security footage to find out what happened. Number 2. First day at work fail. Have you ever woken up in the morning and thought, wow, today is really gonna suck? You might not have a reason for that feeling, but you just know things aren't gonna go your way. And then one thing after another happens, and it turns out you were right. I wonder if this guy had that feeling when he was getting ready to go to work at a food service business. He and his team were getting everything ready to start food prep when he grabs two bowls from the top shelf of a bridge. As he holds one back to grab another, he notices that the liquid in one of them starts tipping on the floor. He steadies it to stop further spillage, grabs the second bowl, then slips over on the wet floor. Both of the bowls he was just holding go tumbling to the floor. His co-workers come to his rescue, but it's too late. The damage is done. Whatever they had in those bowls would have to be remade. I just hope for his sake that nothing else went wrong. Surely slipping over and getting wet is the worst thing that can happen so early into a working shift. Number 1 Idiots at work. I don't often think that people deserve to be fired for making mistakes at work, but this guy might just change my mind. He looks like he might be hired for a city council of some sort or is required to clean up trash as a punishment. Who knows? But whatever his reason for having to clean up trash, he is not doing a good job of it. He has a wheelie bin in front of him, which is where he has to put the trash, dirt, and grime that he brushes up. But while he's next to a waterway, that's not what he does. Instead, he sweeps up the trash, dirt, or whatever it is, and throws it into the water. How did he not think he would get caught? He's wearing a bright orange vest to make him more visible to passerby, so of course he's gonna be seen. What he perhaps didn't think would happen was that somebody would be filming what was happening. That sure backfired on him, didn't it? According to the YouTube footage, he was fired. We all make mistakes on our first day because we're not familiar with all the procedures straight away, but the errors that some people have made will definitely make you wonder whether they're suitable for the job. What was the worst mistake you ever made at work, and did you get fired for it? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!